I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tired glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. He's sad because his girlfriend died. I need to died. find out more about Jeremy's pact with the dark man. He meant to go to Tarawaya. Maybe there is something there that would help. I thought that was a monster again, but it's just a bear. It's a <laughs> carving of a bear. Barlow lens. Ah, a lens that can be fixed to amateur telescopes to increase magnification. A telescope lens. Well, why would he lock it in here? We know exactly where to go. Yeah, it's downstairs, right? Sam says, oh, Snap didn't realize this was a remake. Yeah, so this is a remake of the first Alone in the Dark game, which came out in like 1993, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. It was probably earlier. It was probably 91 or two. Well, no. 3DO was 93, I think. I need the key. So, very possible. Very possible that it was 93. Sam says, are you Jeremy. enjoying this game so far? Yes, I am loving this game. This game is fantastic. What's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Yeah, you commented on that before. <clears throat> um, let's see. Needed to get reoriented and figure out where I was. The 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 map is just also so densely layered. It's so nice. Oh, I can't get in there. I keep going the wrong way. Uh the the map is just so densely layered. It's very fun to navigate. Here we go. What was she looking at just now? She's looking at something. Look at that, she put her hand up on it. Cool animation. Yes, it's through here, I think, right? Oh man, the music is so good. All right, let's Barlow lens it. trying to bring into alignment here. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, I can't rotate the piece here. That's not correct. This goes here. Yes, I understand. I know what this is now. Um, nine four seven. Wait, what's going on? It's entering the numbers by itself. Okay. Uh, great. So where is that? We know where that is. I should have explored the rest of this area. I probably missed something. Oh no. I definitely did. Oopsie. There was probably something standing, like just sitting right over there. Oh well. <clears throat> Paula says I'm obsessed with how good this looks. This game is very pretty. It's a very pretty game. It's not quite RE engine levels of like photorealism, but I do like it a lot. Ah, here we go. What are we here we going about? <sighs> oh, am I just going to walk through the door and it's going to be spooky now? Yes. Chapter 3. Oh, is this one? <clears throat> you should not have come, Emily. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. As a manifestation of Yermi's deepest desires, I am to you unfamiliar. Yet I know of you. Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? I am only his subconscious thoughts. I cannot speak for his totality. How come you have a Spanish accent? And what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea, where Jeremy goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Jeremy once read a book of mine. It stuck with him. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Jeremy doesn't want you to. He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Dorsetto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Jeremy will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their settle. What about all the patients and the staff? They will not stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Jeremy agree to this? Desperation, of course. Jeremy did not choose martyrdom lightly. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy, and hopefully the people at Dorsetto. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. We'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? You're actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. Try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's here? You'll have to be very careful. Of course. I... I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily.
What a fun character. What a neat, neat cutscene. What is the Dark Man, do you know? The Black Sun. The stalker among the stars. The crawling chaos. No. Neither I nor Jeremy knows what he truly is. Yari Lahotep? That's probably not a good thing. I'm worried this is how it starts. That this is just madness enveloping me. I'm sorry. There is no compelling answer I can give you to dispel such doubts. Well, I've put this off long enough. Take care, Juan. You too, Miss Emily. I will cross my fingers and hope for the best. Pretty solid. So this is Tarawea. It's a convent, I guess, is what he said. Or a monastery, possibly, of some kind. I guess they're, they're kind of the same thing. <clears throat> folk horror book that we saw before. Scanning around for interactables. I don't know. This is very pretty. Burr says, I love Latin South American architecture. Me too. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Game looks so good. Very visually impressive. Whoa. Got some verticality. Oh god, the fucking music is <laughs> So good. Oh, Angela, we love it. It's great. This is just so moody. Hmm, there's something missing. Can't interact with the statues. If any of them move, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. That's a promise and a threat. Says so they really nailed the atmosphere. Yeah, they they did. library it was endless beautiful and terrible an akashic record for the universe inside the mind of jeremy hotwood now corrupted by a story forced upon him told by a maniacal liar an evil conjured by science and secrecy i will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Frowler. Hmm. The Prowler. Nothing over there. There's blood. That's blood on the floor. So gotta be careful. Can't 
can't pull anything from that. God, the way that the lights are rendering, I don't think that it's, uh, I don't think it's, uh, ray traced at all. I could be wrong. Let's hold on. Let me check. Let's see. No, it's not ray traced. Just looks really good. Damn. That's not bad. You love to see it. There was a door over here, wasn't there? Or is that a paint? No, there's a door. Oh, we can't go in there. It's destroyed. Is there, is, is that a seam in the world or is that me noticing that there's a room behind here? You see that blue light in that bookcase? I was trying to make sure we don't miss anything before I move on. No writing on the easel. Anything I can interact with? No collectibles, no. I feel like I haven't picked one up in a long time, so I'm really anxious about it because I want to not miss them. And it keeps it keeps saving when I walk back here. Why does it keep doing that? Is it just because it's close to an interactable? That's probably all it is. I guess we're gonna go up, up towards the blood. Uh... this unmasked evil oh forbidden knowledge it's not letting me show the bonus text maybe I'll go back in why isn't it doing it why can't I see it there we go Bull worship is common throughout history. For Christians, this can be seen in Exodus when the Israelites turn to worship a golden calf in Moses' absence. This passage shows the people falling back to the worship witnessed in Egypt, known as the Hapis Bull. Another famous example is the Minoans on the island of Crete. Their worship of the bull gave rise to the myth of the Minotaurus, the half-man, half-bull monster that reigned the labyrinth. But for this particular case, I think I should tell you about the deity Astarte that brought the Taurus constellation to life to attack Gilgamesh. Even for a mythical hero, this celestial bull would prove difficult to defeat. Only by distracting the bull with a golden sail was Gilgamesh able to pierce an eye with the spear, which bled the bull to death. Neat. One thing I will say for sure about this game, UI glitches need some work. <laughs> the mouse not working, the thing only displaying controller prompts, like, I mean, that just comes with time, that's whatever, but it's over here. There's something missing. Okay. Is this it? After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. Oh no. What is that? Oh, it's the dark man. It's the dark man. Okay. 
Okay, there he is. He keeps teleporting. He's very scary. We're all terrified. Uh, sure. The music is suddenly very loud. There he is. loud that's gonna get turned down a little bit <laughs> it's very loud it's still very loud all right well you know how it be Go like this and then he appears in there we just probably gotta run around okay all right what's happening here He walked past. Let's get him. Okay. The dark man was in here. And he's no longer. fine look at that that was a compelling section <laughs> you can tell that this game was made by the people who made soma at least the creator of it writer or whatever you gotta have one run away from the spooky guy segment I would love to just sit at this table and read. It's so pretty. I need a Doom Jazz slider. Like, turn the volume on the Doom Jazz way up and turn the volume on everything else way down. Also, I dig that there's like a full core element to a lot of this stuff. Granted, this is like a thing with like a lot of early Lovecraft and stuff like that, is that it's like, it's all about like Egyptian gods and ancient tombs and stuff like that. And I mean, you know, read into that however you will. But uh, I do like the aesthetics. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution. Emily! <gasps> I like his butterfly wings. Please, no. I hope you found what you were looking for, Emily. I fear there is no going back. He's in my head, Juan. His breath replacing mine. You should not have come, Emily. Interesting. Well, if it isn't my new best friend. Come, join me for some giggle water. Giggle water? Yes, uh, please. Ruth? Oh, Miss Hartwood. Don't tell me you've been out swinging without me. Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? 
Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. Tell me, Miss Hartwood, have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the Grand Parlor and suddenly here I am. The Grand Parlor? Can I get back to Dorsetto from here? <laughs> Are you sure you want to? We could stay here and drink the night away. How about a gin fizz? God, if what a vibe. New Orleans, maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Preg's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? <laughs> Jeremy talked a lot about the dark man. I always felt a bit envious. How so? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty to offer. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. You're too sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> You don't happen to know how to find the Preg's shipping company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. Whoa, what happened? You just got lucky. <laughs> A bientôt, Mademoiselle Emily. Hey, do you know where my uncle is? No, but I bet you're close. I love this character. Oh, man. New Orleans lies southwest of Erceto, along the great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Carré, is home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz craze flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of their seto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds to witness the enigmatic black pharaoh. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear wherever he performed. It was the sort of thrills my father sought out, especially if there was a promise of electrical trickery. The Norlands address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution in the morning papers. There were rumors of an Egyptian sarcophagus being a part of the act, something which kept me wondering how they had carried that up the seemingly endless stairs. The details of the showman's performance have almost been entirely replaced by dread, the kind that numbs and hides the terror of something unbearable. What is certain is that ever since that night, I can't remember a single day passing without seeing or sensing the presence of a dark man. Damn. God, the prose in this game is excellent. Preg's shipping company. According to the book in the Great Library, they assisted a showman performing somewhere in New Orleans. It's somehow connected to Jeremy's introduction to the dark man. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Lots of stuff to explore over here. Debris is a weapon. Oh, oh come on. Oh, that is not. Okay, right trigger 
or not right trigger, right bumper is attack with a melee weapon. I missed the prompt for that originally, so I probably could do this a little bit better and not take that damage. But that's fine. Okay, I can't go in there. Machine gun cartridge. There's a machine gun here somewhere? Oh. Oh, mama. Where's that machine gun at, though? Where's that machine gun at, though? Hello? We gotta find that. That's, um... Oh, great. That's fun. God, leave me be. Ah, darn. What username says fantastic voice acting? Totally. It is really, really stellar voice acting in the in the journal entries. Alright, so we know for sure that there is a machine gun somewhere around here. Great. It noticed me right away. <laughs> of course, I stepped right into the fire. Silly me. Come on. Oh, fuck. Okay. Harbor Master's office. There's a way through the sewers. Great. Okay, so the front door is probably closed. <laughs> Ooh, shotgun shells. So this is the Harbor Master's office. Why, yes, I will take that. Thank you. Oh, come on. Oh no, my, my, my cursor went away, my reticle. I mean, that's fine, I, I can aim without one, but I wasn't expecting it to just not be there. <laughs> All right, we're looking for the machine gun. Still looking for it. We're gonna find it. I will, I refuse to not find it. That's a, that's just, we're not going to move on without it. I'm not going to give up a machine gun. You're crazy if you think I would. You're mad. All right, hop on down. I'm wondering if I missed it already, though, is my, my concern. <laughs> Probably a bad idea for me to come over here, but... Typewriter ribbon, neat. Right. 
No, it didn't light on fire. There we go. There we go. It's probably over here. Oh. Okay, that had pistol bullets in it. Nope, we're not going to go in there yet. <laughs> so shooting at the oil on the ground can uh, cause problems. That's good to know. Let's scan. Because I really want that. No. Ugh. There we go. I really want that machine gun. I want it real bad. I can't get up here, not yet at least. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. It's locked from the other side. <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't see anything over here. I don't know where to go. I like the way that the dreamlands are depicted in this game. How simply turning around completely shifted the environment. That was one of those things that I wanted to try and get across in Dead Laws. That we didn't I mean, just because of the nature of the game, we it's not really communicable. But that's how the other side works. Is this idea of like literally anywhere you look, you're gonna see different thoughts and memories and things bleed through and around. God, the music is so good. Okay, um, let's see. All done. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, there's other stuff to grab. No, let me go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Took way too much damage off that. That was foolish of me. There we go. All right. We're in the stinky sewer now. There we go. I am just chugging these health potions, that's for sure. I mean... Part of me wants to say it's obviously guarding something. We may as well take it out right now, right? Get stun locked. It's better that we just deal with it now and not have to worry about it later, right? That's my outlook. And I still have a shovel, so we're good. Can I squeeze through this? Probably not is my guess, but I just wanna check.
Oh. Oh my god. Instant. Instant death because of the hitboxes. I think that they're just active the second they start to swing, so it's like even if it doesn't actually collide with you, it does damage to you. That is something that I am not a huge fan of, but... What? What? Okay, that's really bad. Uh, cause if they are on the ground... There we go. Okay, they were supposed to be out of there because... We got down here and the, the door closed behind them. It's fine. They can't get me here. All right. And we will ignore this guy. Welsh Gamer, hey, how you doing? Oh, there was a spooky back there, I see. Just going to stealth here and avoid waking up this guy. Oh, there's probably no way not to. Here we go. I think I missed a health potion because I was running from those things, but it's okay. We're going to go down this little spot real quick. So I want to make sure there's nothing down here. There is something. Look at that. There's always something. All right, let's move upstairs. And this should be into the shipping company, right? Is that? Yeah. Yep. All right. I made it inside the warehouse. Now let's find that address. Severed horn. I wonder if some of these are exclusive to different to the other character. You know, like you can't get all of them unless you you beat the game on New Game Plus or whatever. Because that could be kind of cool. Uh, can I open the door? Is my question. I can't. Okay. Just wanted to check. There are enemies around here. I can hear them. There's got to be one in there, I think. And obviously they're going to... This is going to be an arena because there's throwables here. What is this? Is that a fire poker? Yeah. Cool. Did I miss anything else? No. There's a whole lot of stuff here, including a machine gun. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that's great. The flyer title. <laughs> is that a placeholder title or is that an actual name of a newspaper? That's funny. Nope. Okay. All his Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. 
several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. This is a riddle. Obviously. What is left later is right and hell is back again. So you have to go left, right, left, obviously. But the question is, what is the... What are the numbers? That's my question. So hold on. Several... So all of his things were recovered. Why is his capitalized? Hmm. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. What is left later is right and hell is back again. Um Oh, huh. Well, here's the here's the thing. I don't have a lot of numbers. Let's listen to it one more time. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Is it just the words? Is it just the letter, the number of letters in the words? Four, L A T E R five, hell four or maybe seven let's try four five four and then four five seven and it'll be right left right so uh what was it four five four so oop it worked all right cool Gotta go manifest, Tom. September 19th, 1892. Prex Shipping Company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Hmm. So he's not even a god, he's, well, the Black Pharaoh himself. It? The address to the theater where Jeremy first met the dark man. There are going to be enemies here. Okay, well, I needed to heal, so that's fine. Do I want to go down here, or do I just run? I think I just run. God damn it. What the? <laughs> damn. I'm gonna die probably because I messed up, but that's fine. Just 
just wait for the rest of them. Yep. You're stuck. Alright, used a little bit more ammo than I would have loved to use there, but that's fine. We made it out alive. And we still have a lot of healing items, which is good. Look at that. Looks like the fog cleared up. The fog cleared up? Wow, sir. Oh, we have it is like actually a full area to explore now, too. Look around. It's over here. Nice. Nothing in there. Gladly. The Black Pharaoh, Temple of Mysteries. So her family is fully cursed. Just really cursed <laughs> is there anything over here or are we solid nope all right i'll take it what is this area How, oh no, how, how big is this? Interesting. So I guess we're gonna have to climb the tower? I guess it's only, I guess it's only a few floors, but still, interesting. 